Today I'd like to talk about uh, the search for meaning in a box. And, uh, you know, how do you find meaning or make meaning out of this clay? Probably one of the most defining uh, events that happened in my life early on was when I uh, was rejected to all the graduate schools I applied to. And uh, I have to say, I, was, I remember being just devastated, in fact. The last place I heard from was the place I wanted to get in the most. And uh, as it turned out, it was one of the best things that ever happened to me because if, uh, one, somebody suggested that I go study with a man named Ken Ferguson out at the Kansas City Art Institute. And I remember having been there for like two or three weeks and uh, it was very proud of all these covered jars. I put all these covered jars out of this table and uh, Ken Ferguson came and looked at them. He said, uh, well, Staley, what are you trying to say with these pots? And that moment, that question has stayed with me uh, for the rest of my life, both as an artist and an educator. What are you trying to say? My family moved so much when I was growing up. Every three or so years, we were packing up and moving. I remember having a cardboard box, and I would collect all these things that meant something to me, like a, a rattler from a rattlesnake or a little army man, and I would carry my box with me every time we moved. And that was sort of a, the box was a security blanket. I've been making these uh, black boxes out of uh, clay that actually fires black uh, for about 10 years. And I throw on the wheel and the wheel is round. And then I basically take the rounded form and I make it sort of rectangular. And then I will, you know, square it off. You know, I take this and I really scrape this and make it square. And then to get the top to have a sense of volume, uh, I basically drop a slab in here and then eventually I'll turn this upside down and form this whole thing. And I think in some way, trying to make boxes that are mysterious, this clay will fire black, and it creates this sort of enigma of what's inside. Abraham uh, uh, Maslow talks about four stages of learning. Those four stages are unconscious incompetence, uh, conscious incompetence, conscious competence, and then unconscious competence. And if I could quickly translate that, unconscious incompetence means you're making bad work and you don't even know you're making bad work. Uh, Conscious incompetence uh, means you're, you're making bad work and you know you're making bad work. And then the middle one, conscious uh, competence, is, is that uh, you're making good work and you know you're making good work. But the last one is really magical. It's unconscious competence. Unconscious competence means you're making good work and you don't know quite how that came to be, how you made that good work. And in fact, the artwork starts sort of teaching you something. And uh, this certainly happened uh, when I was sending this piece off and I realized, unbeknownst, but I had been so influenced by those horrific images that we saw uh, during 9-11 of the planes flying into the World Trade Centers. And uh, actually I created a form on a pot that I know was sort of inspired subconsciously from that. So those are just some thoughts on a, a, a search for meaning in making art. Should we shoot that one more time or just yeah. leave it as it is? Mm -hmm. yeah, one more time. I always like Having options. Having options. Yeah. But I think that was pretty good. Yeah.